Hello everyone and welcome to my floss tube. My name is Amy. I am the Black Cat Stitcher here on YouTube and on Instagram. <sighs> now, today is a exciting day. I have the second ever fully finished objects uh, to show you. Uh, the first fully finished object that I ever showed was in mini sewed episode one, I believe, or one of the mini sods that I uh, filmed because it was a bookmark that I had made for my mom and that was my first ever cross stitch completion and my second ever con er, cross stitch completion and fully finish was another second bookmark that uh, I gave to my cousin which I haven't shown yet on this channel if I can g uh, commandeer it from my cousin cousin if he brings it with him for Christmas and that's a lot of ifs. Uh, I can show it on a mini sewed or something like that. Um, but now we're going into my third, fourth, fifth, dot, 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 ever finishes that are now fully finished. Um, those of you who have been watching my other videos know that I gave a pile <laughs> of things to my aunt to frame because she is an artist and she, you know, regularly frames her own photography. So, as long as I was able to pay for materials, I asked her to do it for me because uh, she's good at it. Uh, and yeah, she she did. She uh, took it to the local uh, craft store and uh, had them frame it and they look amazing. So, shall we get started? I think I'm going to try and show you my fully finished objects in order of completion. But I'm not going to guarantee that I'll succeed because especially at the beginning of my cross stitch journey, I didn't really record, uh, you know, start and finish dates. Um, but now that I've started doing whip go, I do know my start and finish dates. <laughs> so um, let's get started. The first fully finished object is this. Uh, cats welcome, humans tolerated, sorry for the glare. Um, and this is my second, or my first ever cross stitch that I completed for myself. So I'm very proud of this. This is going to hanging in my living room. And yes, mom, I did take every single photo off my wall. And yes, mom, I will put them back and don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, my parents brought these all with them uh, when they came to visit me in June and they've already been hung on my wall and now I have taken them off for this video <laughs> but I promise I'll put them back um, and then we have this one this is a jellyfish from a cross stitch shop that I will not uh, mention the name of you can see my living room goodness gracious y'all um, glad it's clean I guess <laughs> anywho um, uh, how do I stop it from glaring um, yeah, I don't think I can, but anyway, um, this is a jellyfish it's my first full, ev full coverage, uh, project completed. And I've got this one hung in the hallway by my bathroom, uh, cause there's a tiny thin wall there that, um, it fits perfectly on. Okay, next got these. These are frames I bought and mats that I bought myself at Michael's and I had every intention of framing this myself but I couldn't get them straight and these are embroidery not cross stitch um, from a kit that I got from my aunt on Amazon um, and its partner is a cat with milk. Um, so my aunt framed these herself with the help of my mom. Thank you to the two of you because I was pulling my hair out trying to get them straight. And <clears throat> I have those um, in my kitchen um, by my microwave. So, and then last is a set. Um, and I can't quite remember the order that I finished these in, but I think this one was the first that I finished. And these are from Oh My Stitch Shop on Etsy, I think. Um, 
they're no longer available for sale on her shop. Um, but they were a set of six uh, bookmarks that were themed after animes from Studio Gil Galby Gilby. Um, and um, that, I think, my first ever cross-stitch finish that I showed you, um, the fully finish, was from that set that I gave to my mom. The second ev ever <clears throat> was also from that set, and I gave it to my cousin. And um, this is the second from that set. Um, and I think this is the third one I finished. Um, and finally, I know for sure I finished this one last. So this is Totoro. And these I've hung on in kind of a cluster over my bed um, in my bedroom. Alrighty, let's get all of this crap out of the way. And those are my fully finished objects. Now, I've finished some more things since then. Uh, obviously, Star Wars, which uh, is by Nina Olsen Embroidery on Etsy, and it's no longer available. I've checked her shop, and it's been removed from Etsy. Sad, because I really like uh, that pattern. And um, But Star Wars has been given to my aunt, and... Uh, She's going to frame it before Christmas, and I will film a short bit of it um, before giving it to my dad, or after, one of the two, <clears throat> to show you guys what it looks like fully finished. Um, the other four finishes that I've finished since then are from this photo, set of seasonal trees um, from uh, DMC Cross Stitch, um, and those I've all also given to my mom uh I don't didn't have plans to frame them I was just kind of doing them for fun and you know if I frame every single thing that I complete I will go broke so um I had thought my aunt had asked if I was I wanted to sell you know some of my you know finished things but I think my mom's planning on doing a thing uh with them and you know maybe once the, that thing is done, they, sh they'll they be hanging on my mom's wall or something. for a, So I'll see them over Christmas, perhaps, if they're finished by then. But, you know, <laughs> I don't really have plans to fully finish them. Um, myself, at least. So they're gifted to my mom for the time being. Um, Alright, now on to the next uh, section. Uh, the next section is Finishes. And I also have a finish. Um, I have been working this month on Shy Cat. Here is the picture of where I left off last at the beginning of the month. And here, here is where I am fully finished or finished. I also don't have plans to fully finish this one. Um, so it'll go in the under the bed box as, uh, or I guess mine is beside my bed. I have a little tower that I had from college that I'm putting them in the drawers. So it'll stay in there for, for now until, until I figure out what to do with it. Uh, and as part of my whip goal plans, I had three finishes that I had goals for and I have successfully finished all three. Yeah! I never thought I would do that, to be honest. I thought that Shy Cat would be left unfinished by the end of WIPGO this year. Um, it was. I wanted to finish it and get it done with because it's a small project and it would have, you know, easily been finished quickly. But I also thought that I would take the majority of the year to finish the trees and Star Wars, which were only um, in the summer still and. I've finished all of my finish goals, so maybe I should make a few more intense finish goals <laughs> next next year for Whipgo because I very much like Whipgo and I plan on cont continuing to do it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
as a part of my finished goals, I had set new starts as rewards for completing my my objects. And the first reward, or the reward for Shy Cat was Princess Eliana by Mirabilia. And I did start that. And I have approximately a thousand stitches um, uh, done on this, um, excluding the back stitch that I did back here. Um, I'm doing this on the called for linen, which uh, is, gosh, let me pull it out here and see what the name of the linen is. Um, 32 count peaceful purple linen by Wilch, Wilch, Wilch Elts. So this is my first ever design that I am doing on linen over two. Um, so it was slow going. Uh, to be honest, I think I miscounted or I did a one over one stitch somewhere in here. And so I noticed when I was coming back, I guess, with this darker, I guess, yellow, you can, can't really see it, you know, it wasn't matching up with the stitches above it. Uh, so I discovered that I did an over one stitch somewhere in there, but I, I know that there's a error there now, so I can fudge it and add a few over one stitches. Uh, and to compensate, I guess, so it doesn't look wonky. But I'm excited for that one. I thought that I would have a lot more trouble getting used to, I guess, uh, linen than I did. It's very easy. And I thought 32 count sounded like a really high count, but you know, I do know that there's a lot higher counts of linen out there. So I think I'll be fine. And I think I'm gonna enjoy my first experience on linen. And if I ever <clears throat> encounter a project that is also on linen, uh, that I won't be afraid to, to tackle it anymore. So then, after my new start, um, let's see, what did I do? Uh, whip Go Goals for the month of July were called. And the two that were called were A Thousand Stitches on Museum Shelf by Annie, er, Annie Stewart and charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and do A Thousand Stitches on this. It's called Human Anatomy by Light Unicorn Designs on Etsy. Um, and I cheated just a little bit. Um, on my whip goal, goal, whip goal goals, I have two, two uh, numbers that uh, call to do a thousand stitches on my uh, museum shelf. And then I also have, which a number that hasn't been called, page finish on my museum shelf. Uh, and as you know, with Hades, a page finish is a big deal, and that's a lot of stitches. And to top that all off, I was uh, restarting. <laughs> so I had logged zero stitches to towards my page finish. Uh, so I cheated and I switched the two numbers, human anatomy, uh, it will be called a, later in the year, and I'm doing both goals um, for a thousand stitches in order to work towards my page finish, um, which is my ma my next major goal that I'm going to focus on um, until the end of the year. Um, and so, yeah, here is my restart. I finished one of the thousand stitch goals, and I am working towards the second. And then I'm going to, you know, uh, keep going towards a page finish. That is my plans for the rest of this month. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is all my stitching. Um, and Kiss has come to visit. Hello, Kiss Kiss. Will you stay with me for the rest of the video? Yeah. Mm, anyway, um... My, oh, you you don't like it? Okay. Um, my reading section, I guess I'm going to restart that. Um, 
I have started reading again uh, because uh, I'm not not burned out anymore um, from reading the entire series of Bones by Kathy Reichs, uh, which was eventually made into a TV series on Fox. Um, but yeah, I was a little burnt out after doing that. But now I've started restarted again with The Clockmaker's Daughter by Anna Morton. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I mean, I really don't have much to say because, um, I mean, I'm almost to part two. But, um, yeah, basically if, I, basically if I talked about it now, I'd be spoiling it. Uh, so I'll give you my end of book review uh, probably by the next video. But, yeah, that'll be restarting the second half of my floss tube is my reading hobby. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is all that I have today, um, and, uh, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.